are ergonomic mice such as this one or even this one good for Minecraft? In this video, we will find out whether or not these mice are good for combat, PvP, general playthrough, or just playing Minecraft in general. The one thing I would like to mention is that Minecraft is a very unique game for the fact that, unlike most other games, Minecraft requires you to aim as well as click at the same time. Games such as FPS games like Call of Duty or any other game of that matter require you to hold down the trigger and aim. However, in Minecraft, if you want to attack someone, you have to click while aiming. That poses a new challenge and it prioritizes CPS. The faster you can click, the more likely you are to chain a combo on your opponent and gain those few extra hits that are necessary to take the victory. In addition, high clicks per second or CPS allows you to take less knockback, which is evident in some servers that allow for reducing. So for example, take a look at this clip of someone reducing while drag clicking. If you didn't know already, reducing is basically when you and your opponent are clicking at such high CPS that your knockback is relatively equalized. Therefore, you will take zero knockback and basically hover in the air. So, as you can see, CPS plays a vital role in gameplay. Therefore, when getting a mouse for Minecraft, you want to find a mouse that is able to effectively jitter click or butterfly click, or even drag click in some cases. Mostly, you just need a mouse that you can click fast. So, when we assess the true qualities of an ergonomic mouse, such as a vertical mouse or even the one I have, for the purposes in this video, the ergonomic mouse that I will be demonstrating and using throughout this video will be the RBT Rebel Mouse. This mouse is pretty unique for the fact that it doesn't function like a normal mouse. The way this mouse functions is that rather than clicking with your fingertips, this mouse forces you to use your second knuckle and major knuckle rather than your fingertips in order to reduce tendon stress and fatigue. This mouse is supposed to prevent carpal tunnel and especially help those who are at risk of acquiring the condition which includes older people. So how does this mouse actually compare in Minecraft? Well, let me answer that question. First off, I'd have to say this mouse is not really the best mouse for Minecraft because since it is designed for you to click with your knuckles, it is impossible to click the mouse at the front because the mouse's switches are blocked off at the front. Therefore, jitter clicking is nearly impossible on this mouse. You are not able to jitter click. The only way you could possibly jitter click is if you awkwardly hold the mouse in this position, which basically completely defeats the purpose of the mouse and kind of makes it unusable. In addition, butterfly clicking is also not an option because butterfly clicking is done at the front end of the mouse rather than the back. So if you try to butterfly click, you will not be able to click since you can't click the front of the mouse. Basically, if you try to perform any other clicking method other than clicking with your knuckles as intended, you're defeating the purpose of the mouse and you're kind of just wasting your time. Another side note I'd like to mention is that sadly you can't abuse this mouse. You are sadly not able to double click this mouse because it simply does not register the double click. Comparably, another unique ergonomic mouse would be a vertical mouse like this. A vertical mouse like this also has a disadvantage for clicking, and that is side buttons. So, to first explain to you why this ergonomic vertical mouse is bad for clicking and all other types of clicking, including fast clicking, I will first have to explain to you what exactly is jitter clicking. So, jitter clicking occurs when you use your forearm or your elbow muscles to twitch your arm upwards. As a result, gravity pulls your finger down and assists you heavily. If you try to jitter click on a wall, for example, where gravity is acting oppositely, it's pulling you downwards instead of horizontally to the wall, your hand will most likely not jitter click like it would on a table. Gravity pulls your finger down, which allows you to rapidly twitch your finger up and down. So, 
Similar concept applies to a vertical mouse. A vertical ergonomic mouse, like the one in this picture, cannot jitter click at all whatsoever. Due to the side buttons and the primary buttons of the mouse being in a sideways position, you cannot physically click and jitter click the way you would normally on a normal mouse. That is because you are no longer taking advantage of gravity and gravity is in reality acting opposite to your desires, pulling your finger away from the switch. This means this mouse is really bad at jitter clicking and you most likely won't get any good CPS, therefore making this mouse terrible for Minecraft. From what we've learned, unique and unorthodox mice from the ergonomic mice niche are not usually good for Minecraft due to the unusual designs that actually limit your CPS ability. Minecraft is one of the only games out there that actually promotes mouse abuse and the progression of carpal tunnel in your hands through jitter clicking and just rapid clicking which definitely cannot be good for you, but it is what it is. To be honest, I don't really think people who play Minecraft are really worried about their ergonomics due to the previous things I've mentioned about mouse abuse. However, I think pretty much any other game or some FPS games that don't require nearly as many clicks as Minecraft does should fare pretty well with a ergonomic mouse, such as a vertical one or the RBT mouse that I showcased earlier in the video. Now that I've explained the basics behind finding a good Minecraft mouse, including what features you should be looking for, what features could actually pose as a disadvantage for clicking, and how various clicking methods are affected by the build structure of a mouse, I will play a few games of the bridge in Hypixel with my new ergonomic mouse and I will provide an in-depth analysis as to the pros, cons, and weaknesses of the mouse during the gameplay. Okay, to start off the analysis, let's go over this first clip. As you can see, I am barely breaking 4 CPS. If you pay attention throughout the entirety of the video, I am getting about 4 or 5 CPS max. So, I'm just bridging over, across, doing just fine, but notice how I'm getting knocked off. I'm getting such little CPS, I can't defend myself properly. You'll see how that is more evident in future clips. Luckily, this guy was really bad, and I was able to succeed. But, spoiler alert, I lost every single game. Do not get fooled, I lost every single game, even against people who are really bad, so... This mouse can only get about 4 CPS. However, in this clip, if I were to attempt to butterfly click on the mouse, which is really awkward because you kind of have to hold the mouse on the complete bottom, you can get about 8 CPS max, which is a little bit better I guess, but it's nothing crazy. One of the most annoying things with this mouse is its low CPS. That in turn gives me very poor combat, as you can see right here, I get completely destroyed. The only way I can actually win combat, like in this clip, is by circumventing my opponent and strafing properly. Else, most of the time I get completely destroyed if I'm very unlucky. Wall running and bridging across the side of the wall is really difficult at some times. Most of the time, you can't get the right enough CPS to consistently wall bridge, but in rare instances like this one, I was able to pull off a very clean wall bridge and block clutch. I'd say this mouse suffers in CPS which means like you're not really gonna do well in PvP at all. It's physically impossible to win a PvP match at 4 CPS. 8 CPS is stretching it. I can kind of see that that being possible. Some people normally click that. But 4 CPS and you're not even able to jitter click on the mouse, that just won't ever be practical in any Minecraft setting. Thank you everyone for sticking around to the end of the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're on the road to 10k subscribers and be sure to join my Discord server at discord.gg/helix. See ya.